Uh, we might be able to get a a book or two. So I am currently playing with Chibi Ultica. It's go away, spiders. I want to. God damn it, stupid swamps. <laughs> All right, screw it. I'm not dealing with that stuff. A chance for a random book in the bookcase isn't enough to warrant me wasting time there. Okay, what's greeting me in our first town? We've got zombie hunters, medics, firefighters, boomers, and two houses so far. I could lure these guys away and then try to loot the house. Let's do that. We've got an opportunity here. Actually, I might want to try running over that uh, firefighter. Come on, you guys. Keep traveling. See if we can get a fire axe off that firefighter. That would help out. Wonder why this zombie hunter is moving so slow. Can I work my way back? Get into that first house. Same problem I gotta be aware of is the distance that the noise is traveling for this vehicle. It's 38 noise, it goes a long way. All right, come on antibiotics. <laughs> Lots of cough syrup, heartburn, medication, and multivitamins, no antibiotics. We'll take uh, some cough syrup and one multi and a towel. Really? There's a pillow and a blanket here as well? Why? All right. I'll grab a pillow and a blanket. <laughs> Acid zombie! Acid zombie! I'm burning! I'm burning! Uh, that's great. I'm burning more. <laughs> That's about how my day's going. <laughs> Step downstairs, boiled in acid. Oh, leather gloves. Leather gloves, sure. A golf cap, a leather cloak, and a wolf suit. That's what we're missing. Well, we got some antiseptic, so new bites are not a problem. Yeah, we'll take some of that. There's the thermal electric suit. Oh yeah, drop the golf gloves. Luck pick. Leather backpack, there we go. I love my leather backpacks. Still my favorite backpack. Love the leather backpacks. And looks like that is it for the upper floor. <laughs> I can't catch a break. Mm, that's the... Well, really? Roaches are beating on the door? When did they start doing that? Bacon! Bacon! 
Zombie is getting killed by something. Ha! <laughs> Shocker Brute. Hey, Shocker Brute. Oh, yeah. We're playing fun game now. We got Shocker Brutes. Give me a knife. Uh, I guess I should take a pan. Volume. Take the steel frying pan. I don't think there's anything in the dining room I care about. I think that's all I can really do for now. We're going to have, what, one enemy outside that'll see me when I come out, probably. Nope. Cool. Successful raid. Uh, I guess we'll dump stuff up here. We got two baskets. First up, uh, my pillow, my blanket. All right, oh, that's right. Do I want to make an attempt at climbing the roof? Hmm. We definitely can't go across the street. We're wedged in forest, so my driving capability is low. Not looking like it's likely I'm going to get to any other buildings here in the area. Yep, yep. There are wolf suits, dino suits, maids outfits. What are the other ones? Wolf and Dino are the ones that I, I, I remember the most. Can't remember the other ones. <laughs> yeah, hard to do a bookmobile challenge with an illiterate. <laughs> That'd be kind of tough. All right, so private park, small wooden trail, not helpful. House there, I might be able to raid if it's days. Uh-oh, now we're starting to hit zombies. Yeah, I won't be able to get to that house, so that's a no. That house is a mate. No, that's a no also. We've got zombies and zombies. They'll see me long before I get to it. All right, so can't go that way. If I roll around to here, maybe I could get into a house and take a look around, but I'm not liking it. I got no roads any other direction, so it's either just go driving randomly through the fields or bulldoze my way through a city that I don't know any exits for. Uh, you can still climb roofs. You can still drop down without a drain pipe. It's possible. Just want to minimize your negative uh, effects on the formula, the climbing formula. This guy's not a great candidate, though. <laughs> not with all the negative conditions and such going on with him. It would be dangerous. I'd still do it if I had to, but... There are also other ways. If you have a fence you can climb up on, you can then climb up on the roof completely safely. So if there's a fence that connects into the side of the building, you can climb up on the fence and then climb up onto the roof with no rolls. And then you can get back down the same way. So it's 100% safe. So there are ways that it could be done. Just got to pick your opportunities. Grim Howlers. Man, if I'm stuck in a cul-de-sac of forest again, with no other roads out, that's going to be annoying. Whoop, I see a road tucked into the forest over there, huh? That's a lot of boulders right there. Damn it. <laughs> Couldn't quite avoid it. Hey there, rural house. 
can't quite get to. Hmm. They don't typically have anything in the bathrooms. I'm not gonna bother stopping. Yeah, they're, they, they've got this road screened by this forest. Are they gonna let me through? They let me through! Those fools! Alright, now we're no longer at least stuck in that regard. So, what do you think? Back north? I don't think so. Let's go south. Yeah, we just came out of a bordered challenge. My last challenge was a bordered scenario. Depending on how you use it, it can be interesting. It didn't really affect my scenario any, but... Um, trying to do a long-term survival situation, I can see where it might have some, uh, some consequences. I just wish it was not as big. I think the bordered area is too large. Migo Scout Tower nearby. Joy. Actually, I need to stop. There's no zombies in sight, and I've got a house here and a house here. Let's, uh, let's stop right here and try to do some looting. Opportunities knocking. I need to answer. Answer is no for that bathroom. Music? Whoa, oh, uh, tailoring. Awesome, fine, normally. I'll take the kit, I'll take the books, I'll take the thread, leave the rest. Good thing to come back to later. A wood axe and roller skates. All right, time to uh, switch out for the wood axe. Now we got some fighting capacity. Under the hood, gallon jug, unload, gallon jug, onto the ground. Come here, you dispense clean water into the gallon jug. Drink clean water. Nah, we're not going to try to roller skate our way through this one. <laughs> ah, that was a good basement. Um, I got to make a decision on my backpack. Do I want to keep carrying both? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I got spotted. Give me the hammer. Um, that's it for there. Butter. No good stuff. Well, that kind of ruins my plan. All right, I need to be able to get get out without getting spotted by other things. Uh, it's drivable, barely. far enough south that uh, I won't get spotted. I 
Let's go with the golf bag still. What am I at for encumbrance? 30 torso encumbrance. Yeah. Drink top and a golf bag. Alright, let's do the northern house first. I can retreat to the southern one. Alright, I'm gonna watch, watch this technique. I'm gonna carefully pick this lock, this window. Success! Only took a few seconds. I am an expert lock picker. Dive bag, huh? Um, I'm not enamored of the dive bag. But we'll take it. We'll have some backup. Okay, bathrooms first, please. Where where are you hiding your bathrooms? <laughs> Edgar? <laughs> Edgar! Bathroom must be to the north. Which book? Which book? Oh, electronics book. I can wait on that one. Oh, another basement. Another opportunity to get burned by acid. Come on! No. Denied. Big basement. Big empty basement. Uh, I dropped my gallon jug. Really empty basement. Okay, that's unfortunate. I think I'm gonna. Ninety-nine out of a hundred, huh? Alright. Oops. Uh, I've got the screwdriver, I've got the hammer, I've got the pot, I've got a knife, I've got detergent. I think we're just about done with the random stuff from kitchens. Jug of bleach. We'll grab that, fill it with water also. In anticipation of that mythical time when we ford up to wait out our inevitable death while medicated. Hmm, <laughs> wooden clogs. Unload. Bleach. Oh, that's 32 clean water. Ooh, a canteen. All right, we'll take a canteen as well. Fill that up. Really? I don't think so. Blah bar. Hey, look at that. We've gotten pretty lucky so far this uh, these attempts. Another two prying ability. All I need now to uh, and it's it's also really small. 0.38 volume, 0.77 pounds. But you get the prying too, which lets you open anything. So claw bar is awesome. Twenty dollar currency strap, huh? Cookies. Oh, an aluminum bat. Now we're, now we're rocking and rolling. If I can just keep from getting killed by the uh, stupid infection, we got some pretty good stuff. Uh, 
Uh, I was going to drop my eyeglasses. Where are my corrective sunglasses? These are nearsighted, right? Uh, nearsighted, yes. Cool. Ah, uh, we better have a backup. Okay, so both of these houses are done. Surprisingly light on zombie presence. Unfortunately, nothing else in this town. A couple more houses we might be able to get to, and then we got some options. Okay. Ditch all that. Got a bat and the axe now. So, uh, aluminum bat's good. 22 bash with a plus three to hit. That is hard to find. Plus three to hit at a really good movement cost with medium block. And uh, it's well made and withstands punishment. So, super happy to have a wood axe and a bat. That's the best weaponry we've found so far in any of the attempts. But still no antibiotics, and it's already uh, 9 o'clock. We're behind the times. Uh-oh. I see dead things. Uh, rubber hose. Oh, I didn't get the rubber hose. wallets, huh? fire extinguisher the reason will be made obvious here in just a short bit mm, no thanks just no items actually Disassemble large fire extinguisher. Um, put it down and start working. All right, so we took it apart because we can get both the rubber hose I need and also a steel jerry can we can fill up with more water. Now that we have that. Dispense, yeah. All right, now we got hydration. <laughs> we just need to get some meds to survive this damn... Oops, I want the saline to survive the infection. Nothing. Water is a little heavy. can gonna fit I'm not sure the jerry can's gonna fit let's stick it in one of these All right, that gives us like a hundred and some doses of water and we're already tired Surprisingly few zombies in this town. Ah, uh, airdrop crates, feral human. Ooh, is that a body site up there? I think that's a body site. I gotta be careful. Did 
still no. Nah, I've got all of that I need. Duct tape. And a flashlight. Cool. Oh, it's one of those duplexes that have a uh, shared garage. What's been in here breaking stuff? Doesn't matter. So, we're not going to get anything useful out of the farm other than possibly a view of the area. Um, I'm not going to try to climb a building. I'm not going to try to get to that. All the airdrop crates are already opened. At least I'm assuming that's the graphic for the open crate. Yep, open crate. Let's go... that farm. That one might actually have something if I can get to the house before the barn explodes. Uh-oh. Shock zombie. Normally I would try to get into this building, because there's lockers that'll have tools, but that barn is way too dangerous on these, uh, the settings I've got currently. Yep, <laughs> there's, there's what's piling out of the barn, glad I didn't commit to that. <laughs> That's just what I can see so far. Gonna be more. Oh, look at that crowd. Look at that crowd. We got shockers, we got brutes, we got uh, zappers, grabbers, all sorts of good stuff. Very important to know when to nope. Just nope right on out of there. Uh, I'm only going to go a little further west here. I might flip back around. Yeah, that's not good. Headless horror. Yeah, that's quite the barn of horrors. You don't mess with that barn when you're playing on advanced evolution settings. I've opened that door on a, some of my older runs and had just an insane nightmare. I had one of them that had a zombie master in there. And so every single zombie in there by that point had been uh, massively evolved. <laughs> it was it was funny. Good times. Evac shelter, first aid kits, but no uh, no chance of antibiotics. 
We'll stop for the first aid kits, though. Do I care about... I guess I should take the protein. That'll make it even easier for us to uh, turtle up if I ever do find... Antibiotics. Give me my whistle, and that's going to be it, right? Really? <laughs> with a fight with a wood axe? <laughs> Wanna pop up here to get a look around. Another evac shelter. Hmm. I mean kinda nice to have, but doesn't solve my, my main problem. Well, there's an M2 Browning with 36 rounds. Other than that, the thing sucks. Terrible first aid kits. All the good stuff was missing. Hmm. I forgot to activate my badge. We actually got a badge this time. I didn't have to summon it, so it's working now. Yeah, I should have looked at this earlier. <laughs> I totally forgot to activate the badge. Oh, uh, look at that. Too bad we couldn't realistically get to it. Without just barging in with our vehicle. There's one facility. We got Carlisle just south of us. Another facility. Spencer south of that. Rumney off to the east. All right, so we got a few choices. Let's check out Carlisle. Carlisle. Oh, one of the dog houses. Love it. Greeting me at the edge of town with a dog house. <laughs> That's the hulking horror is. That is a muscly, muscly dog. <laughs> they ate the mailman. 
All right, I'd rather not pull that out and away from the building if I can avoid it. I think they heard me, though. Oh, roadblock. Which kind of roadblock? Hmm. Little riot control platforms, but they're going to be out of ammo. They only have six shots, and they're going to keep everything busy over there. So, hopefully I can scoot down and loot these three houses while they keep that going. Damn it! How much? I'm not sure if they saw me or heard me. We're going in anyway. An awful lot of swings. Come on. Nope. <laughs> Not getting any love. Good old balaclava, huh? Um, I'm going to say no to the balaclava. Hey, e ink tablet PC. Look what we found. I'll take it. See if we can do a quick test. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> who's, who's here? I think this is a uh, roach basement. Yeah, roach basement. With zombies. Oh, crap. Well, you're not welcome. So he did apparently either see or hear me, and he's come north into the house. Uh, let's go run mode. Speed is low. I'm dead tired. Cockroaches are faster than me. Here he comes. Please don't break my window. Please don't break my window. Please wait while game got loads. Alright, yeah, that didn't go as well as I was hoping. Office. Not super excited about looting an office. Zombies, zombies, zombies. Yeah, they can just hear me from so far away. The dead tired status is going to be more and more of an issue. We still haven't found any meds. Nor any buildings that might have meds, other than houses. Um, road endpoints don't really help me either. The vineyard. dead tired and the infection status we're going to be moving so slow we're racked up pain cold and infected so getting away from anything is going to be really really hard um it's kind of looking like we're going to get a forest cutting me off i really really don't want to go all the way back to rumney I don't see a re realistic way of me getting down there unless this opens up to this road network. 
no reason to go west. All right, we'll see if we can connect over here. Otherwise, we'll curl back up to that direction. Yeah, that's what I figured was going to happen. Similar one to before. Oh, actually, I want to get on top of this if I can manage it. I think they're going to hear me and come busting out of the barn again. No? Cool. Let's see if we... Oh, zapper zombie. See if we can get to the top of this silo. If you didn't know, this particular silo, for whatever reason, is taller than all the other silos. It's uh, as tall as a radio tower. I can get to it. Grappler zombie. Yeah, I don't know why this one's got a supersized tower. I don't have my my telescope anymore. Well, that doesn't help. We got a mine. We got a lumber yard where I could get an axe, but I already have an axe. Houses. Yeah, none of this helps. Uh, I'll go through, and then we'll follow up north, I guess. Yeah, I don't know why this one's taller. Found out that it was when I climbed it, I don't know, three or four challenges ago, and make sure to jump up there whenever I can. All right, let's see if we can get to... Uh, that zombie does not see me yet. Cool. <laughs> crowbar! I already got the pry bar. I don't need the crowbar. We have the claw bar. Only benefit is one more prying skill, which isn't going to gain me anything other than a better chance to pry something open, but it, I can still do it with the other one. Just going to take me a few more tries, possibly. So it's not worth the extra capacity. All right, nothing we needed, unfortunately. Hey, zombie. I was crouching on purpose. I uncrouched. <laughs> Wasps. We actually haven't seen too many wasps this evening. Same one, huh? I'm gonna just keep moving. I think there's very little chance of anything there that's going to help me. Really just need to get back up to the city. Yep. What was especially funny is when they first introduced prone, you would sleep, you'd go prone, and then you'd have to remember to uh, stand back up again. 
So a lot of people were dying because they didn't realize they were prone because none of the tile sets had an indicator showing the prone status yet. So we had a another wave of uh, <laughs> uh, suicides based on uh, the condition of whether you're standing or what. We had the same thing happen when crawling became a thing. Two cracks, an Uzi, and some coke. Eh. Crouching, that is, not crawling. We had lots of crouch suicides, so we went through another version of that with uh, prone suicides. Another shocker brute. A shocker brute. Rumney. Alright, I'm going to try to stay as far outside the outer edge as I can. Moose. Oh, turkeys and otters there, huh? I'm wondering if I can make it up to that house to the north. I'm not sure if they're coming this way. They'll see me if I go for it. Alright, let's not. How about this one, though? I have to gauge everything now by the fact that we're down 20% of our movement speed, so pretty much everything is now faster than me. A lot of things are going to be faster than me, even if I sprint. <laughs> Failed. Failed. Uh. Oh, I haven't been here in forever. The survivor basement. Do we have a survivor in the survivor basement? Necromancer and two survivors. <laughs> uh, wow. I can't remember the last time I got one of these basements. Hey, gang. I will now be leaving. Show me the bathroom, please. Nope. Just some aspirin. Is there any other bathrooms here? I uh, don't think so. Nope. Oh, another bathroom. Alright. Get out of here before... Something comes climbing back up those stairs to get me. Hmm. At least they're giving me pretty good movement options around the city. Caustic Soldier Zombie. Hmm, maybe I can get into that house. places to go again. <laughs> We're already into the dead tired status, soon to be exhausted. So my chances are getting uh, slimmer and slimmer very quickly. No ambulances, no pharmacies, 
None of the houses so far. It's actually a semi. <laughs> All the cars have the same kind of silver paint job, but it's uh, the semi truck. <laughs> huh. I'm not sure what to do. I'm going to go south just to check these weird endpoints real quick, but we're probably going to have to come back and just barrel through the city, which is a terrible plan. Chances I'm going to get what I need are very, 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 very small. That two-hour window we've got before we uh, we start going dead tired and pretty much lose any ability to maneuver is just vicious. Like I said, I, I think they've gone too far into the random lottery style of difficulty. I think this road just continues. My map just didn't go farther, so I'm going to turn around. So, looks like we're going to have another fun adventure just driving into town and getting getting killed. Um, I think this road might just continue as well. Hey there, Amigo Scout, Zombie Scientist, Lab Analysis Kit, one of the four tools. Some okay books, some purifier, and some wallets. Um, I mean, what do the Migo Scouts look like in this tile set? All right. None of that's going to help me immediately. I'm just going to leave it. See if we get shot by this guy as we go by. <laughs> I don't think the purifier is going to purify my infection. Whole bunch of useless endpoints. None of those fix my problem. All right, let's go. I'm going to go north and see if we can get around that side. If that doesn't work, we're going we're going to have to just pile drive right into the town. Terrible plan, we'll die quickly. Hey, Shocker Brute. <laughs> Wasp Nest, so I can't do anything near that. Two incandescent husks. Shock Hulks. 